Hello everyone, and welcome to Tamriel's Tales. Today we're reading The Common Tongue, which can be found in Morrowind as part of the Tribunal questline, which I have been doing on my main channel, so I figured I'd go ahead and read the full thing here. It has a little bit of intro text that just kind of summarizes the full common tongue before it just gets into the snippet that's actually written. But I figured we'd go ahead and read that part too, since it is part of the book and game. But let's just go ahead and begin. This broadsheet is a newsletter copied on cheap paper, featuring sensational events in the city of Mournhold. One article describes a list of individuals who died under suspicious circumstances, when their interests conflicted with those of a former Prince of the West. The reference is clearly King Helseth, King of Morrowind, formerly Prince Helseth of the Kingdom of Wayrest, in the province of High Rock. The Common Tongue A poet can have no higher purpose than to tell the truth about the human condition. Lord Vivek Mysteries of the West I have a little list. They never would be missed. Appearing at the top, three names. Anhar, Khajiit Male. Martyrius Aruntius, Imperial Male. Jasol Asilie, Breton Male. What do these three names have in common? All three at one time or another represented an inconvenience to a western noble prince named Helseth. Anhar was an agent for eastern ebony merchants. There was an unfortunate scandal concerning improper contracts offered to Helseth as compensation for his assistance in obtaining ebony import remits from the Imperial Board of Census and Excise. Luckily for Prince Helseth, this scandal blew over when no one could be found to testify. Is it just a coincidence that Anhar's health went into a steep decline, just as he was to testify before the Imperial Magistrates? He died a natural death, according to Imperial coroners. Convenient and timely, perhaps, but natural. Martyrius Arintius was a city alderman of Wayrest. Prince Helseth's liaison with the alderman's married daughter was potentially embarrassing to the prince, especially when Martyrius Arintius forcefully pressed his suit for predatory adultery in Wayrest courts. Many thought it strange that Martyrius Arentius should suddenly fall ill and die of exhaustion on the eve of the trial. The suit was settled out of court and charges dismissed. The imperial coroners ruled that Martyrius Arentius had died a natural death. Convenient and timely, admittedly, but natural. Jasol Asilie was a diplomatic attaché at the High Rock Embassy in Wayrest. Widely rumored to be an intelligence officer, Jasol Asilie was often seen at court taking a great interest in the affairs of Queen Berenzia and her family. It is said that Wayrest can be a beastly uncomfortable place in high summer. Perhaps the Breton's constitution was ill-suited for the relentless heat and pestilential swarms of the southern Iliac. Jasole Asilia took suddenly ill one evening, and within three days he was dead. Once again, imperial coroners ruled that Jasole Asilia had died a natural death. Convenient and timely, yes, but natural. And these, the common tongue notes significantly, are the only A's on the list. Some have quietly suggested that Prince Helseth was the most accomplished and subtle poisoner in the West, but the common tongue has never seen a single scrap of evidence that would prove such an indictment. Admittedly, the absence of such proof could count as qualifying towards the title of a most accomplished and subtle poisoner. And further, the common tongue does not wish to suggest that King Helseth is a poisoner, or that the recent death of King Athen Lethanes was a poisoning and not a natural death. The common tongue has never seen a single scrap of evidence that would prove such an indictment, and the imperial coroners have ruled that Athen Lethan died a natural death. Thank you so much for listening today. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to support this podcast, maybe consider supporting my coffee, Patreon, or Throne, all of which can be found by searching Tamriel with the extra L-E at the end. If you're interested in watching the stories of the games, maybe check out my playthroughs on my YouTube, Tamriel. Or, if you'd just like to see what I'm up to, you can find my Twitter and Instagram at xtamriel, just with the extra little x at the beginning. Thank you so much for listening again, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.